Good morning, YouTube and Pigeon World. Greg here, GVJ Loss. So they're out and running. There they go. Unfortunately, this week I have lost another one, a hen. But that's two birds that I've lost in uh, the whole year. So I can't really complain. Again, it was a situation where they hit the pins and of course one did, two of them didn't make it back one made it back the next day and one just never made it back hey they're up there again and this is the my weekly review for them fyi um Gonna start selling these youngsters. And I have a I start selling also the mated pairs of these youngsters. Uh, due to health reasons I can really keep them. I am gonna keep my white homers. But those are more a novelty than anything else. So I'll be doing a video on that. Just a heads up. There they go again. Doing their thing. Just started flying, they're rolling out. And then they'll go higher. Time to go up. It is time to go up. Okay, I don't know if you can see them here, but they are up there. They are way up there. Hopefully, you can see them. They come. They have broken the minimum time. Okay, they are back. So last week the minimum time was 39 minutes. This week the minimum time is one hour and one minute. That is the minimum. They've been slowly going up every day, every day, to the, now they're one hour and one minute. By next week, they should be doing two. And if you look at them, they're not even breathing hard or anything. I mean, two, maybe one or two are, the rest are like nothing happened. In a minute or two, after they rest a little, I'm gonna show you how fast they're trapping right now. Yep, most of them are on the landing board, ready to go in. They ain't had enough for today. Some of them are still active down there. Those are ready. 
Okay, food is ready for them. Lay down a little bit. And they are ready to come in. Okay guys, they are all in. Now, what I do is, I let them get a drink of water before I stop feeding them, and there's a reason behind that. Okay, so now all the ones that want to get a drink of water, already got it. And now I'll give them two handfuls at a time. So yes, I'll give them two handfuls at a time. Then what will happen is, as soon as they eat it all up, uh, and I see at least three of them fly up to one of the perches, then I feed them two more. You'll see three, at least three of them or more, start going, flying up to the purchase. Which means an indication that it's telling me they want more. There goes one. Went back down and count three up at the same time. That's one, that's two, and that's three. And then I give him two more handfuls. Now, after the six handfuls, then I start giving them one at a time. I mean, you gotta judge it, you get, you'll know after a while how many handfuls they take. These are taking between seven to eight, sometimes nine. Every day is different. Uh, you don't eat the same amount every day. So you gotta adjust and the way you adjust is they'll tell you. Again, I'll wait to one, two, three, come back up. Now, if after I feed them like this, I see one going for water, that's it, I cut them off. One, two, three are up, I'm gonna feed them again. Okay, so this is the sixth handful I've given them. Most likely they'll take one more. Now, if now's when I watch them because as soon as one of them, just one, goes and drinks water, that means he's full. And you stop feeding them. You have to stop feeding them. There he goes, he's usually the first one. One of the first flies, he went and drank water. So that's it. Now if you look at the birds, they're still hungry. They're not starving, but they're kind of full. They're like maybe three quarters of the way full, maybe more. 
And this is how you can tell. He is still a little hungry. Now, being that today is Saturday, tomorrow is Sunday, I, I, I try to let them rest on Sundays. So today, I'm gonna feed him a little more. Until, actually until they, they start leaving grain on the ground and then I just stop for it until I see one not eating at all. But I only do that on the day that, that I'm not gonna fly them the next day. But then it takes them another day or two before they get into that flying mode again. Uh, guys, that's it for today, that's it for this week. This is Greg here. Remember, some of these, I'm gonna, no, not some, all of them, I'm gonna start selling them. Fortunately, due to health reasons, I really can't be doing this all the time. I'm just gonna stay with my right white races, which is only 15 of them. And eventually I'll probably have to get rid of them too. I've been doing this since I was 10 years old. Um, over 60 now, 63 to be exact. And I love my pigeons, but only so much I can do. So guys, this is Greg from GVJ Lost. Remember guys, keep them flying.